Stop hiding. <coughs> Hi guys. Um, yeah, it's January, so I thought I'd do my January favourites video. And I'm pretty sure you've all seen the same stuff over and over and over again. What are you doing? Shut up. Right, um, I have like five things maybe so I'll kind of start off with makeup since that's what most of it is and I've got some other stuff but um, if you watch my Christmas video then you've already seen this and maybe another video after that not entirely sure but it's the W7 in the nude eyeshadow palette which actually is gonna look terrible and dirty but there's that and I've used that quite a lot but um, the only reason it's in my favourites is because it is like the only eyeshadow I've been using lately. But I don't 100% like it because the eyeshadows are all flaky. And I'm not going to use the word cheap, but I'm going to use the word cheap. They're flaky and cheap. But it's okay because I'm cheap. Next thing that's in my favourites is the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Mascara. Go for shit. Really? Yeah. I hope he's kidding. That was Bobby, by the way, guys. But yeah, so the Max Factor 2000 Calorie Dramatic Volume Mascara. I picked this up from Poundland, and one of the reasons it's in my favourites is because it's not a black one, it's actually a black brown, and I didn't think that would look right, but it actually makes my lashes look a lot darker than just black. So that's why this is in my favourites. Next thing in my favourites is the Body Shop Pink Grapefruit Hand Cream. And this was like the small size and it's almost finished now but it just smells so lush. Like, I could just eat it. If ever I put it on at college, everyone's like, what's that smell? Because it's bloody amazing and I'm like, this. Next thing which I seem to be using pretty recently, so not the entire month but like the last week or so, is Benefit's Moisture Prep Toning Lotion in like the little sample size bottle. I've had this for a while so I thought I'd start using it and I'm loving it. I'm just loving the packaging. There's a hair. But um, the packaging is really cute. The last, like, oh no, there's two more. So, second to last is this, like, lip gloss, which I'm pretty sure I got ages ago in a Depop swap, so it might be in my Depop swap haul but it's the Manhattan high shine lip gloss the limited edition one and I don't know if the 59s is the number or the color or whatever but it's just really nice I have it on at the minute along with a lip liner and yeah I just really like it I don't really go for lip glosses but I've been wearing it quite a lot recently as well so that's why that's there the last thing makeup wise that is in my favourites is the Garnier Skin Neutrals BB Cream in light and I picked this up from the 99p store as I was in need of like a foundation slash BB cream and I have been using it pretty much every day recently and for like the past god knows how long and it's, it's actually quite good coverage and I like it and it doesn't make my skin too flaky which is what I was scared about so I really like that it says Miracle Skin Perfect. I hope Bobby's actually not really gone for a shit because it's gross. Right, next thing is this Charlie Red Body Fragrance. I got this in part of a set, but this one is like my personal favourite. I can remember when I was like 12 and I used to buy these all the time. And I used to think I was so cool having one of these. So I wouldn't buy it for myself now, but in a Christmas set you can't really complain. I'm not sure if you can see all the stuff on my bed, so I might be spoiling it because you could probably see it. But then I've got three like brushes slash sponges which I've used a lot. One you have seen countless times before and it is a Poundland one. It just says Makeup Gallery and it's kind of like a teardrop shape. I use this to apply my foundation, especially in places like here. It provides really good coverage and there's also a hair on that. This is why you should not own any pets. But um, yeah, so it's good for a pound as well. And I have had this like a good couple months and it still hasn't broken, torn. You know, you'd think it would come out of this part. It hasn't done that at all. 
Next brush I've been using a lot, not for what it's supposed to be used for either, is from Wilco, and I've shown this before in my 36 cans of Coke kind of vlog mini haul thing, and it is their, con ooh, their concealer brush, and it's like covered in eyeshadow because I use it for eyeshadow because the top of it is just perfectly sized to get up in here, all up in the crease. So yeah, that's what I use that for. The next brush, which is my favourite at the minute, is like an angled, like, I don't know what Poundland wanted it to be, but it's from the Poundland Makeup Gallery, like, brand, and it has like an angled brush on this side, and then on this side it did have kind of like a brush like this, obviously, le less quality and stuff, but I've been using it as a lip brush, which is why it's all pink and grace. So that is pretty much everything for my favourites video. I have two things that I want to show you which aren't my favourites but I picked them up recently and I know I said I wasn't in charity shop hauls for a while but we were out and about and happened to pop into one and find these things. This isn't from a charity shop, this is from Poundland but I wanted to point something out. Everyone goes crazy for these like acrylic makeup storage things. Poundland sell them for a pound. This is a nail polish one, but you could literally stick whatever you wanted. Like, it's going to be a bit big for lipsticks, but you know what I mean? You can just, you can stick whatever you want in there. And there's people that sell them for ridiculous prices. Hell, you can even pick them up on eBay for a couple quid. But I picked this up for my mum because she does nails, and I thought she could put her nail varnishes in it. So, because I'm such a nice daughter, I got her that. And this is a makeup item which is here and I managed to pick it up today and I don't want it to reflect on the camera so much so I'm going to try and avoid that but it is, you're going to see my camera, it is an Estee Lauder eyeshadow thing. Did you enjoy your time on the toilet? It wasn't friendly. Okay, but um, I picked this up today from a charity shop and I know I said charity shop hauls were stopping so it's not a haul, it's a favourite thing that I found this month, I guess. But it's got loads of nice colours, it hasn't been used, and Estee Lauder is a good brand. And I found this quite cheap as well, so I can't complain. But um, that's pretty much it for my favourites video. I'm still waiting on my thing through the post to thank all of my subscribers. And hopefully Bobby will be helping me out with that video, won't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, toodle pip and oh. cheerio. <laughs> what, what are you hiding back there? Eight. Do you want to say hi? No. Okay, rude. But yeah, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, do the crap that you're supposed to do, and I'll see you in my next video.